On the 1st of August 2024, we visited the Chelsea and Wallingford Railway in Oxfordshire. We've been to this railway a few times before and made a video here when they were running a steam loco. They usually run once a month, but over the summer they are doing some extra summer holiday running dates with their new diesel rail car and we just had to go for a ride. The branch line to Wallingford originally opened in 1866. The junction was situated further along the main line than it is now at Molsey Station, which was then named Wallingford Road. Bridge. It was the first branch line from the GWR main line to be built to the new narrow gauge of four foot eight and a half inches, which we now call standard gauge. When the Great Western Main Line was widened to four tracks in 1892, the junction station was moved to its current location at Cholsey. The passenger services on the line earned the nickname The Bunk. The reasons for this seem unclear, but one popular story refers to an occasion where a loco did a bunk leaving its coaches behind after being uncoupled from its train at Cholsey by some mischievous individuals, unbeknownst to railway staff. Passenger traffic on the line ceased in 1959, but freight traffic continued for many years to the maltings situated on this line. This traffic ceased in 1981. The Cholsey and Wallingford Railway ran its first heritage service over part of the line in 1985, with the full length of the line reopening in 1997. The current Wallingford station is built now on the land that was formerly the Maltings sidings, the original station having been redeveloped for housing after the closure to passenger traffic. On the day of our visit, the vehicle in operation was W55034, a class 121 diesel rail car built in 1960 by Pressed Steel. It worked at various places in the western region of British Railways throughout the 60s, 70s and 80s. In the 90s, it was used to pull Sandite trains which were designed to remove leaves from the line. In 2017, it was bought by Locomotive Services for route learning and they have leased it to the Cholsey and Wallingford Railway this year.
we had a lovely day out on the railway and enjoyed the ride from Wallingford to Chelsea and back several times. We would definitely encourage rail fans to pay a visit to this delightful railway. It doesn't get much better than that.